Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this channel. I am Nilesh and in this video we are going to start talking about a new topic which is tilizing uh, Pandas data frame. And this will be a series of four videos and in this first video we look at how to use the dot apply and dot apply map functions to color uh, negative values in a data frame as red color and uh, leaving the others as they are in black color. And then we'll write another function which is to highlight the maximum values in columns in the data frame as yellow and finally we'll end the lecture by uh, writing a code to chain different functions so we can write one block that will perform uh, will apply different types of stylizing functions to the data frame so let's get into Jupyter notebook and start coding here I've already created a new notebook and imported these two libraries, NumPy and Pandas. So these are the versions that I'm using. So let's go ahead and first create a data frame. So styling. And we'll set the random seed to zero. Uh, here the data frame df is equal to pd dot data frame and uh, let's create a column a that has 10 num uh, five numbers np dot in space say one to ten and we'll have five numbers in there and after this we'll concatenate that so pd dot concat and here we are going to use the data frame we created above and then we'll create another data frame here where we'll use the random numbers so np.random.randn and this will be 5 by 2 array and we'll convert that will become columns in this data frame so in the column names and the column names would be b and c so two columns and finally, finally we need to specify the axis so axis is equal to one and thus when we look at the df data frame this is how our data frame looks like so the simplest style that we can have is df dot style and it's basically the same uh, data frame that we are seeing above and it's pretty good uh, there are couple of items we can add to this and we'll see what how we can add those before we get into that uh, if you have a background in HTML and if you know how to code uh, the CSS design code then this uh, there is a command that can that you could use so which is df dot style dot render and what this gives you is uh, inside information of the style tag as to how it is um, formatted but if you do not know this uh, uh, do not worry about it so it's just for information if you are trying to stylize it using CSS so next now let's create the function to label to color the change the font color to red for negative values and to do that we'll create a function df uh, is and we'll name it as color underscore negative color negative red and all these functions are directly from the docs so i'm trying to explain them here how they work a color is equal to and here there is a if function so if x is less than zero so if the value of x is less than zero then what you want to do is colors uh, reply with a red else uh, it's black so else black so that's the color and then we are going to return that color by using the command color and it has to be in this format therefore i'm writing this color colon then percent s and then percentage color so when we run this that's the function 
now if we use a is equal to df dot style dot apply map and the reason why we are using apply map is because this function is going to be applied to each and every value in that data frame we created above so that's why apply map up and here we'll specify the name of the function which is color underscore negative underscore red now when we run this we see that we were able to color all the negative values in that particular data frame as red now this function you could customize it to do very specific things uh, and different types of conditions you could put in here uh, to colorize those values only now one uh, small note here is that this format uh, return line we can write it in a different format which is return and here you could type color colon open close curly braces and then type format color so that also works the same way so there's two ways you could do that and if you if you look at the type of uh, a here that we have created type a it is a styler object so pandas styler that we see here printed in the output next we can uh, similar to what we saw above here we can also get the, the code behind this and to do that we would type df dot style dot apply map and here we we'll specify the color underscore negative as red and render render this and so this is the code for the style that's in here so as you can see style tag and you have the css now moving on let's look at another function that we are going to create to highlight maximum values so to highlight max values in our data frame so for this we'll create the function d and df highlight underscore max in column so the input would be a column and then uh, within this we are first going to the way this would work is first we'll get a max value from a call from the column that we are getting here and then we'll write the code here sorry we'll write the code here and then uh, the second will create a boolean mask and that goes here and then we'll add the style that we created above using the mask to and to create a string that is returned by the function so the first item here to get the max value it's straightforward we create a variable call max and then just type call max call dot max and that will give us the maximum value and then to get the mask we'll simply create a new variable mask is equal to we'll uh, use call which is the column that's incoming is equal to call max if it is Uh, equal it will get a true else we'll get a false and that value of the column which would be the same length as the call would be stored in max mask now to add that style we will create another variable column style and within this uh, inside the list I will specify the if condition so this like list comprehension will use for so for we'll iterate to each of the values in that column so for i in mask so for each value inside this particular true false series uh, we are going to specify background dash color yellow if if the i if i is true else nothing okay 
and then we'll return column style so now when we go ahead and run this so df dot style dot apply so here we are applying using the apply because uh, we are reading uh, the series uh, uh, the data frame by columns so we are picking each column putting it through this function and getting the output so again here we'll specify highlight underscore max underscore in underscore column and then run this so call mask not found let's see where the error is okay ah, that's my mistake it should be call max so as you can see here uh, we were able to highlight all the maximum values in each of the columns as a yellow highlighter so we have 10 then 1.8 and 2.2 now let's go on and look at how we can use the chaining method so chain so what we'll do now is do both operations the first one is a uh, label uh, converting the font color to red for all the negative values and then highlighting all the maximum values in each of the columns by yellow color so df dot style and then the first one would be apply map and that's where we use the color underscore negative as red so that's the function we are using then dot backslash and then the second function we have is the apply where we are using the highlight max in max in column now when we run this highlight max in column and here now we can see that we have a, a stylized data frame where the negative values are in red and the maximum values are highlighted by the yellow color i hope in this video you got an in intuition and learned about basic formatting of uh, the pandas data frame and how we can add colors and highlighting highlights to uh, uh, values of interest in the data frame in next video we'll look at few more uh, functionalities that we have that we can use to colorize the data frame please like share and subscribe hope to see you all in the next video thank you